Are you constantly asking yourself where your money goes every month? It might be down to some common money habits you're not even aware you have. See, it's easy to fall into patterns that seem harmless, but are actually slowly draining your wallet. From impulse buying to ignoring insurance, these habits can greatly affect your personal finance. Today we're going to uncover these habits and help you take the first step towards financial freedom. The first money habit that might be keeping you poor is not tracking your spending. Now, this might seem like a minor thing, but trust me, it's not. Every dollar you spend is a dollar that isn't going towards your financial freedom. And it's not just the big purchases that can trip you up, it's the small, seemingly insignificant ones that can slowly drain your wallet without you even realizing it. Think about that daily cup of coffee or that subscription you rarely use. Over time, these small purchases add up. And before you know it, you're wondering where all your money went. By tracking every dollar you spend, you're taking control of your financial destiny. You're able to see exactly where your money is going and make informed decisions about what's truly important to you. Remember, what gets measured gets managed. Ever bought something on a whim? That's our next habit impulse purchasing. An impulse purchase is that candy bar you throw into your cart at the checkout, or that pair of shoes you spotted on sale and scooped up despite not actually needing them. It may seem harmless in the moment, but these unplanned expenditures can quickly add up. Consider this. If you spend $20 a week on impulse purchases, that's over $1,000 by year's end. Just think of what you could do with that extra money. You could pay down debt, put it towards a vacation, or even invest it. The danger of impulse buying lies not only in the immediate financial impact, but also in the potential for creating a habit of frivolous spending. It's important to remember that every dollar spent is a dollar less saved. So, the next time you're tempted to make an unplanned purchase, pause and ask yourself, do I really need this? Don't buy now and cry later. Plan your purchases. Credit cards can be a blessing or a curse. Paying only the minimum is a habit that can keep you poor. Let's dive into why. Imagine you have a credit card balance of $1,000 with an interest rate of 18%. If you're only paying the minimum, say around $50, you'd think you're chipping away at it, right? Not quite. Because of how interest compounds, you're barely scratching the surface. Here's the kicker. Most of your payment goes towards the interest, not the principal. So even though you're consistently paying, your balance isn't drastically decreasing. This is how a debt spiral begins. You're essentially running in place on a treadmill of debt, and that treadmill is set at an incline. Now imagine if you doubled your payment to $100. You'd cut your repayment time in half and significantly reduce the amount of interest you pay over time. Morale of the story? Don't let your credit cards control you. Pay more than the minimum. The habit of not saving or investing can make it difficult to build wealth. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole at the bottom. You keep pouring in, but nothing accumulates. Saving and investing are vital tools for building wealth. They're the patch for that hole. Consider this. If you save just $20 a week, that's over $1,000 a year. Now imagine if you invested that money. With the power of compound interest, your small weekly savings could grow into a substantial nest egg over time. Think about it like planting a seed. You water it, give it sunlight, and over time, it grows into a strong, sturdy tree. That's the beauty of investing. Your money, like that seed, grows over time. And the sooner you start, the more time your money has to grow. So, don't delay. Start small, but start now. Your future self will thank you. Insurance isn't the most exciting topic, but ignoring it is a habit that can lead to financial ruin. Why? Well, life is unpredictable, and sometimes events beyond our control can send us spiraling into financial chaos. Let's say, for instance, you're in the prime of your life, healthy as a horse, and you think, why bother with health insurance? But then out of the blue, you're hit with a serious medical condition. Without insurance, medical bills can pile up, leaving you in a sea of debt, or perhaps you've worked hard to own your dream home. Everything is going well until a natural disaster strikes and you're left with a wreck where your home used to be. Without property insurance, the cost of rebuilding can be devastating. Insurance is a safety net, a buffer against the unexpected. It's not about insuring the things you can easily replace. Insurance is not for the things you can afford to replace, it's for the things you can't. Retirement may seem distant, but not planning for it is a habit that can keep you poor. Picture this, you're in your golden years enjoying the fruits of your labor but only if you've planted the seeds early. That's the beauty of planning for retirement. It's not just about putting away a few dollars every month. 
It's about understanding the power of compound interest. When you start early, every dollar you save grows exponentially over time. Consider a snowball rolling down a hill. It starts small, but as it rolls, it gathers more snow, growing larger and larger. That's what your retirement fund can be, a financial snowball growing over decades. But if you wait too long, you'll be playing catch up and that's a game few win. So let's break the habit of ignoring retirement planning. It's not just about securing your future, it's about laying the foundation for a life of financial freedom. Retire from work, but not from life. Start planning today. Knowledge is power. Avoiding financial education is a habit that can keep you in the dark. Delving into the world of financial literacy might seem intimidating, but it's a necessary step towards achieving financial stability. You see, it's not about becoming a Wall Street whiz overnight. It's about understanding basic concepts such as interest rates, inflation, and investments. For instance, let's consider John, who decided to educate himself about investing. He started out knowing nothing, but after some time spent reading and learning, he was able to make informed decisions, leading to a diversified portfolio that grew over time. On the other hand, there's Jane. She chose to stay away from learning about finances, trusting her money to fate. Unfortunately, she found herself struggling with debt and an unstable financial future. The difference? Knowledge. Financial literacy empowers you to make informed decisions, avoid financial pitfalls, and take charge of your money. Invest in yourself. Your mind is your most valuable asset. Without a destination, any road will get you there. Not having financial goals is a habit that can keep you adrift. Think of your financial journey like a road trip. You wouldn't set off without a destination in mind, would you? The same applies to your finances. Setting financial goals gives you direction. It sets a clear path for you to follow and makes it easier to plan your financial future. Let's imagine two friends, John and Sam. John has clear financial goals. He wants to buy a house in five years, so he's saving and investing wisely. Sam, on the other hand, is just going with the flow, spending as he pleases. Fast forward five years and John is a homeowner while Sam is still struggling to make ends meet. The difference? Goals. John had a plan, he knew where he was going, so don't let your finances float aimlessly. Set goals, make plans, stay focused. The final habit that can keep you poor is living beyond your means. It's a simple concept, yet many of us struggle with it. Picture this. You're earning a decent income, but you're spending even more. You've got a fancy car, a big house, but your bank account? It's empty. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole at the bottom, the water, or in this case, your money, just keeps draining out. This lifestyle is not sustainable and it's a direct road to financial ruin. Instead of spending on luxuries you can't afford, focus on needs over wants. The difference between the two can be hard to discern, but it's crucial. Living beyond your means doesn't just affect you, but it can also impact those around you. The debt can pile up and the stress can be overwhelming. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you keep. So, there you have it. The 10 common money habits that might be keeping you poor. First, we discussed the money trap, the vicious cycle of earning and spending without a plan. Then, we delved into the habit of not tracking your spending, which often leads to unnecessary expenses. Next, we highlighted the dangers of impulse purchasing, which can quickly deplete your resources. We also talked about paying only the minimum on credit cards, a habit that keeps you in a constant state of debt. We emphasize the importance of saving and investing and the risks of ignoring insurance. We brought up the often overlooked aspect of not planning for retirement and the pitfalls of avoiding financial education. We also discussed the significance of having financial goals and the perils of living beyond your means. These habits, although common, can be changed. With financial discipline and proper planning, you can break free from these habits. Change your habits, change your life. It's time to take control of your financial destiny.